All right. Um, so this problem, what we need to do is we need to, ev sorry, not evaluate. We need to find the value of our variable. We don't know what the value of it is, so we can't evaluate. We need to solve. So to do that, we need to get our variable by itself. Well, right now we have our variable inside these parentheses, and it's being multiplied by 4. That 4 is also multiplied by the negative 2, which is in our distributive property. And our distributive property, remember, just states that a times b minus c is equal to a times b minus a times c. Even though a is positive, since c is negative, you're going to have a negative product of a and c. So what I need to do first here is multiply my 4 times y, and then 4 times negative 2, which will be a negative 8, plus 6 equals 0. Now you notice I have two numbers that I can combine, right? I don't need to use the inverse operation for these. Um, I can just combine these and use the inverse operation once. So I can say 4y minus 2 equals 0. Um, so now what I need to do is when I take a look at this is I can now solve this by adding a 2 onto the other side and I get 4y equals a positive 2. Now to solve what I need to do is I need to divide by 4 and I get y equals 2 over 4 or which can be reduced down to 1 half. So therefore now what I can do is I can plug in that value back into my equation and determine if it's true. Um, as long as it's true, I know the solution, the value of y, is going to be the solution of the equation because it makes my original statement true. So there you go. There's your answer.